equestrian friends, it's me Lisa the Budget Equestrian and welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about tacking up and how to tack your horse up more efficiently. Basically how to prepare for tacking up your horse so that you can spend more time riding instead of running around like I'm doing right now and finding things, getting one piece at a time and getting your horse tacked up in order for you to work with them or ride them. And this is my horse Frisbee and I decided to just literally pull things out of the barn one piece at a time and get him tacked up. I didn't really have a plan. I just decided I'm gonna ride and just kind of took things out a little bit at a time and got him ready so that we could ride. And as you can see, there is a lot of downtime for Frisbee. He's standing around while I'm running back to the tack room and then running to get my mounting block because I had it someplace else in order to get ready to ride him. And back and forth and back and forth until I have everything that I need and Frisbee and I are ready to get to work. So this can be a little bit time consuming, but it doesn't have to be. And even though this is an example of how time consuming it can be to get your horse tacked up, with a little bit of effort on your part, you can get your horse groomed and tacked up relatively quickly. So when you have a plan and you're getting ready to ride your horse, everything that you are going to need for either riding or lunging or whatever, you need to pull that out first. So I like to take everything out first. So I have my portable saddle rack and my grooming kit that I take out. Then I grab my saddle and I grab a bridle that I'm gonna be using along with an ear bonnet for Frisbee. And if I can grab a couple of other things like my saddle pad, I will. I need my boots and my helmet. And also a riding crop. And I can't forget my boots and my girth. And I think that's pretty much everything I'll need. Oh, I do need a halter too, so I can get Frisbee out of his stall. So then I have everything set up at my hitching post. I have my grooming kit, I have my halter to go get Frisbee, my saddle pad, my ear bonnet, the boots, my helmet, saddle, girth, bridle, everything is here and ready. Oh, including my boots and my riding crop. I have everything here that I'm going to need to get Frisbee tacked up. So all I have to do now is get Frisbee. So after I get Frisbee tied up, the first thing I do is groom him. And this isn't a thorough, deep, deep, deep grooming. This is more a once over, making sure he's nice and clean and ready for the tack. And then I put on a saddle pad in his saddle, girth him up, Make sure I have my helmet on, along with my helmet camera in case I want to take a video. And then it's time for his boots. And sometimes I use leg protection, sometimes I don't. A lot of times it depends on what the weather is like. If it's really hot, I usually don't put boots on him. And after I put Frisbee's boots on, then I put my own boots on. And once I'm ready to go, then I grab his bridle and his ear bonnet and get him dressed, get the rest of his tack on so we can go work in the arena. Mm -hmm. 
And by doing it this way and having everything ready to go, I saved myself about 10 minutes. Now that may not seem like a lot of time, but like I said, if you're limited in the time that you have with your horse, that extra 10 minutes is a lot more riding and it gives you more time in the saddle, which is where you probably want to be. You can spend your extra time on the trail, you can spend it in the arena doing groundwork, jumping, whatever you wanna do, you've just got an extra 10 minutes or so at least to work with your horse just because you were planning ahead when you were getting your horse tacked up. But even when you're done riding, it doesn't stop there. Once you're done, you have to put everything away. Everything should have a home and everything should go back in its place. That way you will know where it is when you come out again to ride. And when I'm putting everything back in my tack room, I do take a few minutes to clean the leather. So I will clean my riding boots, I'll clean the bridles, and I have my leather care kit out in the barn. So it makes it really easy to grab a rag and my leather cleaner and I can go ahead and clean my boots. I can clean the bridles and pretty much everything that is leather that I was using while I was riding Frisbee, I can clean it. And this just makes it more efficient and then my tack and everything is ready to go the next time I come out to ride. Thanks so much for taking time to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my DIY and horse related videos. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.